Google's DeepMind just claimed that they've invented the Transformer Killer. Now, I'm not talking about like Optimus Prime here, but this is an AI architecture that's two times faster, uses 50% less memory, and could make every AI model from ChatGPT to Claude obsolete overnight. Now, here's what what's really interesting about this, is I've been in software development for over two decades, and I've watched revolutionary breakthroughs turn to vapor more times than I can count. Remember all those uh, you know articles you read about, oh, battery breakthrough that's gonna make your phone last for five weeks and all that kind of stuff and yet we somehow never seem to hit it to production so i'm kind of waiting for the same thing right how about all the fusion reactors that are always just five years away right today we're diving into google's mixture of recursion is what it's called and i'll show you why the most impressive research paper i think might be the sleeping giant of 2025 but let's see if it can get out of the labs and let's dive into this today Welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer, and here at Startup Hack, we love to build soft, uh, we love to train software developers and build custom software solutions for companies. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years in software development, I've mastered transforming tech teams and products. So Google DeepMind just published their mixture of recursion paper, and it's and it has the AI community starting to get pretty interested in this. The architecture achieves supposedly up to two and a half times speed up and cuts memory usage in half while matching Transformers performance. So but before we crown the, this the next revolution, let's talk about the massive canyon between research papers and production reality. So let's jump over to this for a second. So MRR, MOR stands for mixture of recursion, right? And this uses a recursive transformer where the same set of layers is applied repeatedly like a loop instead of having a tall stack of different layers. So think of it like having one really good mechanic who works on your car multiple times instead of sending it down an assembly line with 24 different mechanics. The router, a tiny neural net, decides how many recursion passage each token needs. Complex tokens go deeper while simple ones stop early. So this is genuinely clever and why waste computational cycles processing towards the and and with the same intensity as quantum and consciousness, right? So on the 1.7 billion parameter scale, MOR matches a 1.7 billion transformer validation loss with just one third of the unique weights. So unlike previous breakthroughs that were just marketing spin, this one could actually address real efficiency if we can see it come to fruition. Now MOR could, can double the inference speed and directly have the KV memory through recursive KV sharing. The KV cache is like an AI's working memory. It stores key value pairs for every token and it grows exponentially with sequence links. Traditional transformers treat memory like a hoarder, keeping everything just in case. But MOR is like Mario Kondo for an, a, uh, for an AI memory. Recursive KV sharing reuses the KV pairs of the first recursion for subsequent steps, reducing pre-filtering operations. So this isn't just a minor optimization. Memory bottlenecks are what prevent running large models on consumer hardware. So if this actually works in practice, it could really democratize access to powerful AI models that currently are just beyond our reach because of hardware limitations. So let's kind of take a look at these reports here a little bit because I don't want you to think I'm making this up here. So this is the actual report here. So mixture of recursion, learning dynamic recursive depth for adaptive token level computation, right? And they've got some pretty interesting graphs. So like we talked about, uh, you know, rather than running through the router, it actually runs through layers of these recursion blocks and then works through these. So people who feel, so it can see, it kind of takes out the parts that we don't need, right? And, and this works through uh, these different pieces. And this is a pretty technical paper. So I'm gonna be honest, there was even some parts of this were over my head. Um, and so this gets to be pretty technical pretty quick. So I ran this through some of the AI uh, systems. I actually ran it through three different AI systems to kind of find the main outputs here. And really this is what it comes down to is that it beat, the MOR beat vanilla and recursion every single time. So it was a really interesting validation to where this really could in the end and so a lot of these reports, you can kind of, you know, skip to the bottom and kind of find the synopsis here down toward the bottom where they really kind of summarize some of the pieces, right? And so um, you can, a lot of times you can find this. So to gain insight in a router output distribution, we visualize the results. Uh, I guess that's the bottom here. Anyways, let's jump over to this article, which also talks a little bit more about it. But and ultimately it gets two times infer inference speed, slashes memory usage in half, completely rethinks how AI thinks. So it could be a revolution. And again, I'm, I've read up dozens of these articles about fusion that's gonna solve you know, power problems and all that kind of stuff. 
but let's kind of see what this one has. So it says for the last few years, the path to more powerful AI has been painfully simple, make it bigger. So we hear about chat GPT, you know, and this constant arms race to get Nvidia chips, right? To just make it bigger, right? Because these things are super computational hungry. And so we, you know, hear about Elon Musk saying that they've got to get to a million GPUs, right? Like, and that's a staggering cost when every one of those GPUs costs between 30 to $50,000 a piece, right? So this says, think of a standard transformer like a 32-story skyscraper where every single office worker, no matter their job, had to visit every single floor in order every single day. The, in, the intern fetching coffee, all 32 floors. The CEO making multi-billion dollar decisions, all 32 floors. This leads to two massive unsustainable problems. Insane computational waste, the KV cash apocalypse, right? So it says enter MOR, the intelligent outsourcing solution. So the think recursion trick builds, you know, building one perfect floor, right? Then the next one is the mixture magic, hiring a smart bouncer. So a simple function word like and, the router says you get one loop done, get out. The complex high value ones like photosynthesis, the router says you're important, you need to think harder, go for three loops, right? So this is where they go through and they obviously pulled this out here and it says figure one from the paper, the router decides the recursion depth for each token. The recursion block is shared. The right side shows the resulting dynamic uh, compute allocation, simple yet brilliant. So it's kind of interesting to see how this is working because they're really starting to go after some of the core pieces that are making, um, that makes current AI what it is, right? A lot of the things that really was the breakthrough when we got ChatGPT a few years ago was RAG, and it was also these transformers, right? But the transformers are very computational heavy. Now, so far, they're also the most accurate, right? But the results for transformers would go, would, would be really brutal, right? MOR goes further faster at every model scale from 135 uh, million inputs to 1.7 billion. The MOR architecture consistently outperformed the standard recursion model. Like that's a huge change, right? So um, this is where we're going to see. And so it'll be really interesting to see if this really is the big transformer killer, because I've said for a long time that we're going to hit currently at our current models, a point of diminishing returns. You look at Grok to go from three to four, they had to hundred X the computation to receive, to achieve what they even claimed as 10 X better results. I wouldn't even say Grok three to four is 10 X better. I would say it's in an order of magnitude of 30 to 40% better. I would not say it's 10 X better, but they had to 100 X the computation. So we're seeing this point of diminishing returns where everybody is agreeing that we are hitting the limits of this. So Google DeepMind has access to the massive compute resources and proprietary data sets that other researchers can't match. <clears throat> the paper's impressive results might be specific to Google's training infrastructure and the data pre-processing techniques. So it's going to be curious to see, one, can Google take something and make something out of this model? And two, is this something repeatable that other people can do as well? Or is this something that only the MAG-7 could make, take advantage of? So the history of technology is filled with examples of dominant designs that are iterated upon for decades rather than abruptly replaced. Hundreds of research teams worldwide are actively improving transformation more efficiency, attention to mechanisms, and scaling techniques. MOR represents an evolution within the transformer family rather than a complete replacement. So competing against the collective intelligence of the entire AI's research community is like racing against a freight train. So consider the x86 processor. It was technically inferior uh, to other alternatives that existed, but momentum and ecosystem kept the x86 dominant for a long time. Google needs to prove MOR will remain superior to transformers and uh, that it will kind of continue to evolve. So MR is more than a technical innovation. It would be a blueprint for a smarter, cheaper, and faster AI. But again, is this just another uh, interesting paper with interesting theory? I want to see this into implementation. I think it's kind of an interesting move for Google to, uh, to release this research and say they've had this without the release of a model. I think this would have been a lot more interesting if they had released this research along with maybe a model and said, hey, this is why it's better or maybe even not, because in some cases they could have kept that proprietary. But I don't know, this is kind of an interesting world we live in. So fill me in, because I know there's, I get a lot of people who follow that are AI, uh, you know, data scientists who are AI uh, people really building AI out there. I work with AI every day and I know a lot about it. Um, and we do build on top of it, because here at Startup Hack, we love to build custom software solutions for companies to help their company work like a well-oiled machine. So we build a lot of AI solutions for people. Um, I'm definitely not a huge fan of 
of the AI Oracle. I prefer to build AI systems that are working with people and to help augment systems and processes. So if you have systems that need to be connected, that's our specialty. So reach out to us because we'd love to help you out. But leave a comment down below and like and subscribe. Here at Startup Pack, we love to train software developers as well as to build custom software solutions for companies. And here's some information about our services. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As you are fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuppack.com slash Spencer.